Hello, Jesse Good here, back for another video, and today I'm expressing my thoughts on the LEGO Batman Classic TV series Batcave, a set that's gotten a lot of people hyped up, including myself, and it finally got revealed today, actually the 50th anniversary of the original Batman TV series that this is based off of, its first episode aired today 50 years ago. And the whole deal with this set is it's a direct-to-consumer set. It's going to cost $270 in the United States. It's going to release on uh, on the, the 1st of March and in the middle of February if you're a VIP member to LEGO stores and LEGO shop at home. For the most part, I am in love with this set, but there's a lot of parts that I don't like about this set, which I shouldn't be saying for a direct-to-consumer set like this. So... For the most part, I could say it's a great set, but there's some flaws here and there that are kind of annoying. So let's start with this. The minifigures are fantastic, and I'm actually using pictures from Brookset's listing, but the minifigures are fantastic. All I love all of them except one, which is the penguin. Why didn't they make the penguin adult-sized? Because, I mean, I okay, I, I shouldn't say adult-sized to be politically correct, but the, the short legs don't fits how he looks in the show. I mean, the Penguin, yeah, in the, t in the, in the Batman comics and everything, is a lot shorter in, in, I guess, some iterations. But in this iteration, he's the same size as, say, the Riddler and everything like that. So I don't know why they did his short legs. And then the other part I don't like about him is his torso print isn't new. It doesn't really look... I mean, it, I guess it sort of looks like the, the classic Batman, uh, you know, the Penguin that this is based off of but it's not ex totally fitting and i'm not totally in love with that um, especially considering that since it's a minifigure that wears a hat the back side of the face is you know can't be printed so this is one of i think two penguin faces we have and it's the one they use in a lot of the recent sets including that cheap penguin set from 2014. however i really like how they include the the kind of light purple top hat and i like how the set uses a lot of light purple like green all that that makes it capture you know the, the flair of the show and everything like that but yeah all the other minifigures i'm really satisfied about besides one other fact which is that they don't include batgirl which is weird because she is probably the only key character that isn't going to get a minifigure and yeah i know mr freeze is getting a minifigure as a polybag but official pictures for that haven't been released yet though a minifigure leaked of him and i could say that i'm really satisfied with how that came out now i love everybody else even though uh say bruce wayne doesn't have a new face print i think it fits him well it looks like adam west that's awesome how they include Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson, but then they also include uh, the you know the classic TV series Batman, which you know doesn't show his face, his eyes or whatever. Which I I discussed this in the Batman or Superman thoughts video, but basically it seems like Lego doesn't want to show, doesn't want to make a Batman that shows his eyes with the cowl over it because it will just be um it will all look weird with the cowl off, like the head print will look scary to a point. So. I guess that's just a trend they're going to keep doing, uh, which I don't mind. And uh, I like how it has printing on there. And I love the the classic Robin looks fantastic. It looks like he has dual molded legs, uh, which will be pretty interesting for his backside because he's just going to have a, like his his butt's going to be basically showing. But I I'm, maybe it's just all printed on a green uh, print, so maybe I'm I'm wrong with that. Then it's not dual molded legs, but it seems like Batman is definitely using dual molded legs, and. Uh, like I said, the Riddler looks fantastic. Uh, Selena Kyle, you know, Catwoman looks fantastic. I love how they use the cat, you know, the Tiger Girl's hair like we thought they would um, in that new color, which I could use outside of that um, setting. And Joker looks freaking... Uh, Joker is my favorite out of this whole set. Out of all the minifigures, I think probably tied with uh, Batman because I love the Batman too, even though it's not exactly accurate with the eyes and everything. And because uh, the Joker, I love how he has the, the Joker here that we usually get, but in a light kind of spring green, it looks like. Um, and that doesn't totally fit how he looks in the show, but it fits just enough. And I love his torso print, how it's this light kind of pink, or uh, yeah, it looks like a light pink. Matches it perfectly, and I like how they even said this in the designer video, which you could also see a link to in the description below. I like how they said that they painted, they included his mustache, which in the show is painted over. By the actor which is interesting because that's just such a minute detail also i like how uh, they also have alfred because we haven't gotten an alfred minifigure like forever so that's good that he's finally getting another minifigure um but of course it's based off his classic iteration so yeah i think that's it for all the minifigures and uh now let's get to the build because the build a lot of it i love and then there's some parts i don't like uh the main Batcave build is 
pretty good for the most part. I love the part with Wayne Manor. I love that whole section. There's there's three sections. That one on the far right, I am totally satisfied. I I'm, I'm, I love I love every part about that. I hope you could take off that the Bruce or the the Wayne Manor part, um, the top part right there, and put it as a display as a vignette. Like, just that it's able to be easily removed from the little bat cave when you want. And it looks like it could be. And if you can, I understand. And that's okay. And I, I wouldn't be too um, sad over that. Because that would look great just as a display as its own. Heck, I might just buy that off of eBay. And then, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll get to whether or not I'm going to buy this set later. Um, I love the walls. I love how they have a printed wall kind of decoration which looks awesome and in the designer video they showed that even if you put it in the middle like two studs into the the brick and you connect three old together so that it i guess it forms like a triangle it connects so i think that's awesome i think that's that's such an intricate thing to do and they, they pulled it off so that's a really cool piece to get and i love the shakespeare bust with a new shakespeare hair piece um color because we only got that color on like one other minifigure for Shakespeare himself from the like a movie series. And this one's in old tan. Yeah, it's not useful, I guess, unless you want to make some statues, but it looks really accurate and cool. And it's good to see that piece return. Um, and I love how underneath here they have the button like in the show and then the you could pull the little bookcase and reveal the slides and everything, or the, the poles that they spin down. Because the poles themselves, it's another awesome feature. I think on the side they have like maybe a little button you press that could spin the costume versions down. Now I'm not entirely sure if they uh, if they connect to the t the top, like if the the library part connects to the poles on the bottom, um, so that you could slide the uncostume versions down. But I mean, you wouldn't want to without showing the costume versions, because I was watching the video, the designer video, and I wasn't entirely sure about that. Then the bottom part, people are complaining that they have a stud wall for the bat cave part for that section. I don't care. I mean, it, it looks good for me. I don't, I don't I don't mind whatsoever. And the actual back of it. Uh, yeah, it still uses a, a studded wall for the the display of the um, the Wayne Manor part from the back of the whole back cave, but I, I don't mind that. It looks freaking cool to me. <laughs> it looks like they just use like I think it's like they use a uh, two 16 by 16 base plates maybe I don't know, um, which I don't mind. Whatever, it looks great. Um, and then you actually lead to the actual back cave itself. The middle section, you know, it's all right. Um, I like it. And then the, the end section, it's all right. It's a little bit plain, I guess. And I don't like how the the, heli the helicopter pad is stickered. Honestly, I mean, I understand why and I can't fault the set for this, but I don't care about stickers that much. But for a direct-to-consumer set, I always felt like maybe they should just stay away from stickers. I know with the Simpsons house and even the Quickie Mart, they had so many stickers. I feel like, you know, this is a premium set that you're paying premium dollar for. So it shouldn't be all stickered, you know, that they shouldn't have, they should just have prints, but whatever. Um, this is probably just a cost issue or something. It's not something I would fault the set on. So yeah, we got all that. All the, all those builds are, you know, they're all right. Um, besides, I'm, I'm in love with the, the one section with the sign pole and everything. That, that whole section is good, but the middle and the far left one are just all right. Um, then I don't like this. I don't like how all the computers are not connected to anything. I think that's very lame. Um, they should maybe just include another, maybe like a 16 by 8 by 16 plate that would connect to something and just put all those on there. I don't know. Just something that it wouldn't be all these separate because then you're going to have to move all of them and it's like all these little parts. I don't, I hate it when they do that where they, they make like a playset and then they don't connect all these little parts to it and they're just kind of laying around. It, it kind of irks me, you know? Um, so, but, but half of that is supposed to be like a little research section for the Joker, so it's not really supposed to be part of the Batcave, but I just feel like it would have been better if they just connected that to part of the Batcave and maybe make a little a little plate for like the, the Joker with those parts attached. <sighs> and then they have a lot of other loose pieces, like some record tapes, some dynamite, and stuff like that. Which I don't like loose pieces. Alright, I don't like loose pieces to play set. But then you got the um you got the Batmobile, which looks awesome. I'm in love with that. Like I, I, I think that's a great. They they nailed that. Actually, they nailed all the vehicles. I love the little helicopter plane. My mom was like, that's her favorite part. Uh, besides the actual build itself, she really likes that because she used to watch the show more than me. So I had to show her this. And the motorcycle is the bat cycle or whatever. That looks. That's actually a really good build. That's an underrated underrated build because for what they did with the motorcycle piece and everything, that's pretty pretty good. That's a, they they really pulled that off. So. Yeah, and now it comes a question, since I covered everything in this set, am I going to buy this set or not? Well, 
Uh, I am. Okay, I am. I can say that. I will eventually. It might just be a Christmas gift. You're going to see, I'm actually going to release my most anticipated spring sets. Um, that's coming out soon. Because this was all I, I was waiting for. This was the last set I was waiting for um, to be revealed. But it's not going to be so high on my list as you would think. Like, I think the Ghostbusters HQ is like miles better than this one because they just nailed everything with that set. This set has a lot of parts that I'm kind of iffy on, but for the most part, it's a great set. So I'll say that. Like, if I was to rate it, even though I hate rating sets that I don't have, like, I hate, I don't like doing that, um, I would say that this would be like a B plus or an A, while like the Ghostbusters HQ is like an A plus. But I'm still building that. So I don't know. I, I the if the Ghostbusters HQ didn't come out, I think I would I would get the set on release day, but I might and I might not. I don't know. Maybe I might just wait for a promotion because I know the Mister Freeze promotion. I hope they don't do that where you have to buy this set to get that, but I don't think they will. I think it's just going to be like a fifty dollars and over in March if you if you buy if you spend fifty dollars and over at the Lego store, which I don't mind that. So yeah, I just the the parts I don't like are the loose piece, the loose kind of builds. Um, the lack of a Batgirl, I don't like that, and the Penguin minifigure is very disappointing. Um, but other than that, I'm quite satisfied with how it came out, and I really love that one section on the far right, and the minifigures are just fantastic. So, that's it for now. You guys express your thoughts down below. You can see the designer video and the brick set listing in the description below. So, I'll see you guys later.